Have you been drinking really the whole time, like seriously drinking? No, I, I just had some, like when you saw me have some, and now I'm gonna drink some more. You drink out of the bottle though. It's my house, my rules. Maybe today is the day that I quit. Hi guys, today we're gonna be doing a Zoom cooking challenge with Julia, Tess, and Chelsea. We're gonna be making cheesecake, but they don't know that yet. I gave them a grocery list of all the things that they need, plus a couple that they didn't. So we'll see how they do. They will have nothing to follow along to except my voice. Can we feel the panic already happening? I feel like I'm sweating. I put on like double layers of deodorant. Nobody's gonna smell you. That's the I beauty. actually was gonna put you on and then I was like, that doesn't make sense. I am drinking coffee and I already had CBD oil today. Oh, I'm trying to air out my armpits. I just for fun would like to hear what you think is going to happen so we can have a good laugh about this after whatever actually happens. I think everyone's gonna do great. I think y'all are gonna make the best X, Y, and Z that we're making today. I told Julia yesterday that I'm really gonna try and have a good attitude. I think you have a great attitude, Tess. We love your attitude. In general, I have a bad attitude all the time, but I'm gonna try to have a good one. Let's okay. read the ingredients. So I had you guys buy a box of your choice of pre-made cookies. What did you all buy? Nilla. Did we all do Nilla? Chelsea, what'd you get? Teddy Grahams. Oh, dear f***ing Lord. It said graham crackers, Nilla wafers, Oreos, a box of cookie, whatever it is, et cetera. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Okay. Next, we have one citrus fruit of your choice. I didn't know which one to do. That's great. And then we got one container of berries or fruit. Great, great, great. And then we have sugar. We have salt. Somewhere, yep. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Don't mix the two up if they're not labeled. And a okay. teeny bit of flour. Flour. I'm worried about her already. <laughs> and then we have four eggs. Okay. Okay, a little bit of sour cream and a stick of butter and two pounds of cream cheese. Dear God. Oh. We have some flavoring or spices of your choosing, vanilla, almond extract. Dad, do you know where the springform pan is? Jesus. That is a beautiful stand mixer, Tess. Thank you, it. it's my mother's. Do you have a name for it? No, but she looks like a Shelly. Hello, Shelly. Chelsea's ready. Look at that, Chelsea. Yeah, but I'm ready for disaster. I don't have a I don't have a springform pan. I have a Pyrex thing, and then it's not even round, Jude. And you got Teddy Grahams. We'll make it work. Do we have a rolling pin? Does anybody have any guesses as to why we are gathered here today? Truly no. Yes, Julia. Because we're gonna make Cheesecake. Are right. you joking? <laughs> Why, do you hate a test? No, but that's hard. You'll do great. I saw your Disney video. You're like an A plus chef now. Like method baking. Um, we're gonna do the cinnamon. We're gonna do the cinnamon. I don't really have expectations for myself. I don't. That's good. No expectations means no disappointment. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to make a classic cheesecake. One of my favorite things ever to eat in life, period. Do we, what do we do now? We're gonna make the crust and then we're gonna make the cheesecake. But I think first of all, we should preheat the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit. After that, I want you to put cookies into a bag and smash them. Now, depending on what kind of cookies you get, you will be using different amounts because they are different densities and volumes. So for the Nilla wafers, we need about two cups of crushed Nilla wafers. What about me? Yeah, I feel like you should just crush almost all of your cookies and lay out two cups. I have two boxes. Yeah, I guess. Or just eat them and don't make the cheesecake. It's, you know, this is your game. Oh, that's good. Okay. Hammers down, rolling pins down. I want you to melt some butter now. This is still whacking away. I mean, there's nothing you can do to stop me. 
I just took a finger full of butter to the face. My butter's bubbling. Do you, with a spatula or like a wooden spoon? It doesn't matter, Chelsea. We're just getting melted butter in. Should I just put my hair up now? Two cups of cookie crumbs into your bowl. My bag broke. I see that face, Tess. Okay, so into your bowl with the two cups of cookie crumbs. You're going to add your melted butter in, and then you're going to add a large pinch of kosher salt, and then you're going to take your rubber spatula and mix it until it's a cohesive, evenly distributed crumb mixture. Okay. Is this too large of a? Oh God, too large of a pinch? Is that an actual pinch? I don't know. the water from leaking into the spring form pan. So the tighter you get this, the more waterproof your cake will be. So you're just putting around the little edges. You have a lot of foil, dear God, Julia. <laughs> yes, just go up the sides and go as tight of a wrap as you can. Make sure that your foil is lined up with the top of your cake pan. Is it bad oh. if I think it would be funny if Julia had aluminum foil in her cheesecake? Yeah, I mean, that could be a thing. If you're <laughs> deficient in aluminum. That's so vicious. Wait, what do I do? For you, Chelsea, you're gonna take your Pyrex dish, which you're baking your cheesecake in, and you're going to spray it with non-stick spray or a little bit of melted butter. Okay. That looks perfect, Tess. Take your uh, crust mixture, and you're going to sprinkle it all over evenly the bottom of your cake pan. And then you can take a flat bottom measuring cup or some small glass and just pat it in. I'm worried I'm getting too cocky about how well it's going. I'm worried that I'm already failing, so you're doing better than me. Did you say light, oh, did you say lightly butter it? Yes. Oh. What if I, it's not light? I mean, would it be the worst thing in the world to have a chunky, leaky cheesecake? Okay, we're gonna move on to the batter now. So in your large, large, large bowl, I want you to plop in your cream cheese. But here's the thing. If your cream cheese is still cold, it's not going to whip very well and it's not gonna get very smooth and it might still be chunky. So if your cream cheese feels cool to the touch, I want you to just before unwrapping it, smush it in your hands so that you can warm it up a little bit to room temperature. And then after it is, you know, warmed up to your desired room temperature consistency, pop it into your large bowl or the bowl of your sand mixer. And we're just gonna beat that cream cheese on low, medium speed until it's all smooth. Oh yeah. Oh no, don't do that. Two hands. It's like squirts out at you. I mean, yeah. I need to get it all out. Yes. Get it all out, Chelsea. <laughs> this reminds me of just like a good diaper. I can't stop thinking about it in that sense. Maybe today is the day that I quit. Oh God, okay. Wait, so do we get extra points if we make it pretty? I'm going for the complete package here. 
It has to be baked right. It has to have no cracks. It has to have the smoothest mouth feel. So I'm gonna have to trust you on the honor system to tell me how smooth it is when you eat it. And we're gonna see how well your fruit compote is. Yeah, eat it, Tess. There you go. That's a breakfast. Oh, bro. Tess, I think you can go faster. Oh my God, there's no way I'm gonna be able to do this. I'm sweating. Pretty sure I have cream cheese in my hair. Uh, it's questionable, but- Is that normal? Once it's smooth, I want you to go in with a cup of sugar. Yes, and then we're mixing again until it is completely smooth. Okay, we're gonna get this done. Chelsea, I want you to go in with your sugar, about half of your one cup of sugar. Um, June, you had to compare yourself to a certain grade of teacher. Like, would you say you feel like a kindergarten teacher? Would you say you Do feel I like a like kindergarten teacher? Um, you look very weary already. I feel like I might be like a middle school teacher. You know, the kind that just roasts kids all day long because of how much they hate their job and how bad adolescents are. I know people who are like middle school teachers now that are like my friends and they like get drunk at Applebee's and shit after and it's like, I don't know. I'm wondering if that's what my teachers did too. This was a horrible idea. I'm sweating and I'm about to cry. Chelsea, this is great. We want to see your tears. Is that the salt that we're adding to my cheesecake is just Chelsea's tears? You definitely get like, you know, the loser prize. <laughs> so after your vanilla and salt are in, you're gonna go in with one egg at a time. You are using your hand mixer to incorporate the eggs in one at a time. You wanna make sure that each egg completely disappears before you add ah. the next one. Okay. I'm panicking, I'm like literally panicking. <laughs> That mixture is looking fantastic, Julia, but I'm gonna give Tess extra points because she actually cracked eggs into her bowl before adding them into her mixing bowl. You were playing favorites today, June. Just saying. You know, of course I'm playing favorites. Everyone plays favorites. And to all the parents out there who say they don't have a favorite child... You're a liar. Can we look at that? That was blood, sweat, and tears. That is the most fantastically smooth hand beaten cream cheese I've ever seen. Okay, quarter cup of sour cream is next. Chelsea is behind. We're just gonna leave her behind. Oh my god! Th doesn't it look pretty? I thought this was a good idea, and I just wanna say to both of you, I'm so sorry. Cool. That's. Once you have your batter that is incorporated with the flour, I want you to pour it slowly into your crust. Is that a good idea? That is a good idea because that's the only way we're going to bake that cheesecake. <laughs> okay. The dough over this. You asked for this. I did ask for it. If I'm hand mixing this, I still need to do a little bit more than everybody else, right? Oh my god, let's look at Tessa's cream cheese batter going in. Oh, it looks so good. It's honestly real lumpy. Louis encouraging you to keep going. Aww. He also smells like a wet dog because he went in the mulch. Yo, baking is messy as f Welcome to my life, guys. So welcome to my life. Can I like do that thing that you see on TV where you just like pound it down so it gets all even? That's what she said, et cetera, et cetera. Woo! Yes, you can bang your cake on the counter if you want to get rid of aeration. If you don't want a fluffy cheesecake, you can definitely do that. Or you can smooth the top with an offset spatula. It's totally up to you. The next step is going to be putting four cups of water to the boil, because we're gonna need some hot water for our water bath. So, as we're getting ready to bake this cheesecake, we can make our fruit Ooh. topping now. So, if you got berries, go ahead and mince those berries, because you don't want gross pesticide on your fruit compote. And if you got an apple like Tess, wash that apple and I want you to peel it, core it, and chop it into little tiny pieces about half inch 
Okay, hey, wait. Okay. So you wash them, and then what? Oof, water. And then you're gonna you're gonna pop it into a pot, a medium or a small pot, and you're going to dump in about a quarter cup of sugar, and you're going to take a peeler and take two peels off of your citrus fruit and throw it all in there. Can I just do it in a saucepan instead? Absolutely. Okay, I don't have a saucepan. I mean, I have a, yeah, like I have a, I have one pot. And we're putting in our fruit. Okay. Sugar, too? I can't follow directions, guys. How do you know if you've been recording the whole time? Oh, no. Does so everyone have water up to a boil? No! It's not there yet. I have wine though. Chelsea! If we were auditioning to be part of your test kitchen, how would we make it? I think I would burn the whole test kitchen down and just leave. We're just, um, it all goes in at once, right? Oh my god, what are you doing? Put that knife down, you are not doing that. Just stop. Why? It's fine. She's nice. I'm just gonna do a little extra for good luck. I want a super concentrated fruity compost, so no water to dilute it. What we're going to do once everybody, once everybody is ready is we're going to take the springform pan, we're going to plop it on our sheet tray, and then we're going to move the sheet tray to the oven, and then we're going to pour water onto the sheet tray once the sheet tray is already in the oven, because you do not want to be carrying a thin, shallow sheet tray of boiling water all the way to your oven. I got this. You put it in the oven already? They're going. Oh my god. How much water should I use? As much water as your sheet tray will hold. Oh no, okay. Chelsea, put the cheesecake on the sheet tray, move the sheet tray to the oven, and pour your water onto the sheet tray. I feel like you've seen me do this at least a thousand times. No, but I'm panicking, and when I'm panicking, I don't listen. <laughs> like, we're going to set it for an hour, and then we're going to check in on it, but it should take an hour and a half. If my calculations are correct, the only thing we haven't used yet is parchment paper. Yes. You will not be needing the parchment paper. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh my god. I feel like there's no more water in my water bath in the oven. Well, is there no more water in your water bath? How does that even happen? Really? I don't know. It doesn't look like you just went into the oven with your cheesecake about four minutes ago. How is there already no water? I don't know. It could have evaporated. No. no. Absolutely not. You honestly That's sound so like pain. an exhausted parent whose child brought home the ugliest drawing of all time, and you're like, "That's amazing, sweetie." <laughs> Gonna hang it on the fridge. Are we timing this? Because I haven't timed. Um, an hour since the entry of your cheesecake into the oven. Okay. How long has it been? 10 minutes? 10 minutes. All right. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna take a break soon, I think. Okay. I think we can probably take a break now. Yep. Clean up. Maybe drink some more wine. Yeah, have you been drinking really the whole time? Like, seriously drinking? No, I, I just had some like when you saw me have some, and now I'm gonna drink some more. You drink out of the bottle though. It's my house, my roof. Oh no. Do you like that I made a cheesecake on the same surface that I'm just riding around on? How's everyone's cheesecakes doing? I have no idea because I haven't looked. I haven't looked either. There's water and I'm seeing bubbles on the top. Bring me to the cheesecake. Oh my God, I'm so scared. Please be careful. Please do not touch the water with your oven mitt. Okay. I look fine. You kind of see in there? Yes. Kind of. It's like 
It looks fine. I don't see bubbles bubbles. How's yours, Chet Tess? Um, also like some strange bubbling situation kind of in the middle. Okay. Um, but that's okay. My confidence is unshaken. Wait, now I'm like wondering if, if mine is wrong. I think you should stop opening your oven towel so you have to slide it out. Someone's in trouble. Basically what changes is you develop more color on the crust and you get a slightly higher probability of it cracking later. Like my, Julia, mine is two minutes left. What you're doing after your timer goes off, Julia, is you're going to prop open the oven door and let it cool for an hour. Same with you guys. As soon as you see that your uh, cheesecakes are done, when you give it a shake and it's a uniform wobble without one part looking sloshier than the others, and the top looks a little bit dried out and smooth and slightly puffy, I'm talking like a 10 degree puffiness, that's done. I mean, I want it to be good. Gus doesn't care. Gus doesn't care at all. <laughs> Gus, tell her how you feel about it. Tell Chelsea. I mean, these are the consequences of our actions. First step to being a cook is taste as you go. See if you like your work. Adjust as needed. Yes, Julia. Very sexy. Yeah, where's my praise? I haven't gotten any f***ing praise through this whole thing. Dean, how do you feel about being objectified on the internet? Objectified? Yeah. Well, by the commenters, not fair. Like it's not fair. The double standard is... Just more adversity. Just more adversity for him. Hey, Dean. <laughs> it's the same person you're just talking to. <laughs> I just feel dead inside. I think you're doing much better than you think you are, Chelsea. Do we need to worry about this? Chelsea, all I want you to do is to see that the top of your cheesecake is matte, it's uniformly puffy, and it's uniformly wobbly. That means your cheesecake is done. At that point, you can turn off your oven, prop the door open, and just let it cool. It'll be fine. But we turn off the thing. Like, do I use like a wand? They're like, you know, like a, a spoon and pop it? Anything you can to keep the door open. June sounds like my therapist right now. Especially with like Chelsea on the floor. <laughs> Tess, do you think that Dean will come back down again? Um, truthfully, no. I think he's done with this. <laughs> Tell him you're not recording and I'll just sit here silently. I mean, no part of that is like ethical or cute, but like we can do it. <laughs> can we have cheesecake with coffee? No. Okay. How do we feel about bangs? Love it. Actually, I do like that for you. Yes. It's kind of cool. This is such a trash fire. I feel crazy. So right now it looks like Julia's already taken her cheesecake out of the oven. I have. Fantastic. Okay, now what? Oh, she looks good. Move it to our counter so we can see. Um, it's like a test. It's so pretty. A dare so pretty. pretty. No, it looks like a perfect color, Chelsea. Don't know what you were stressing about. That looks great, Tess. Yes. It kind of like released itself from the sides. Like that is so exactly cool. what it's supposed to do. I need you to lift the spring form out of the foil and get rid of the foil. What do I do? You do nothing. It smells like a blintz, like a ricotta filled blintz. That sounds like it's amazing. Yeah. What happens if I ate a little bit of it? Normally, a cheesecake should chill in the fridge for four to six hours. Oh boy. So I'm thinking we let it chill in the fridge for half an hour to an hour, and then we move it to the freezer so that we can cut into it sooner. I guess this is the time when we out our cakes. Yes. Yeah, we should probably do it now, right? How do they look? Without a single crack, which is pretty damn amazing. Gosh, darn it, that's delightful. It's so cold. Oh. Ooh, that's pretty. <laughs> it's crack. So, yes, that is the first thing that I will note, is that all of the cheesecakes are cold. Produced a well-colored, well-baked cheesecake, I think, without a single crack, which is pretty damn amazing because I'm not gonna name names, but I've seen food stylists crack cheesecakes before, so. Have you ever cracked a cheesecake, June? 
Oh yeah, I've definitely cracked a cheesecake. I've burnt a cheesecake, I've leaked water into a cheesecake, I've underbaked a cheesecake, I've eaten all of those mistake cheesecakes. <laughs> But to be clear, there's still many things that could go wrong now. There's so many things that could go wrong, but it's gonna be cheesecake nonetheless. So it's, we're perfect because we have edible cheesecake now. Looks damn good. Ooh. Whoa, Whoa okay. so interesting. I feel like Julia's way taller than Tessa's, but maybe it's because you have a deeper plate, Tess. Oh God. Yeah, because you said to beat it, beat it more if you want it fluffier, right? Versus right. New York so is I more feel like dense. Your cake is going to be fluffier, and Tess is going to be like a classic New York style, where it's like nicely dense and creamy on the inside. It looks like a sad flan. I think it's going to be great. Honestly, it's hard. It's like a rock. I'll be like me and my dogs. What How hard, hard is it exactly? It's like pretty hard. Like this is like not going anywhere. Not drop the cheesecake. <laughs> I'm so excited, guys. I'm stressing. They look so beautiful. I'm so proud of all of you. Like, have we exceeded expectations thus far? You have, like, blown my mind. Oh, God. Look at that task. It's literally perfect. <laughs> the corner's missing. That looks perfect, too. <laughs> no, it's Holy not. Shit. But I'm happy with it. I'm Shut not up. Do you see this? This is the first slice. Look at that. I could cry right now if I had tears left. No, don't even try. Ugh, come on. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> Julia. I did it. It's fine. I dropped it. But it look. It's still perfect. We're not done yet. Julia's dolloping and she's she doesn't even need instructions on how to dollop. Look at that. No instructions, you guys. You're gonna make me bring in my mom who I just insulted? <laughs> We're so mean to her. <laughs> I'm bringing in my dad, like, I don't know what to do. Um, Dean? Can you come here for one second? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, I just need you to taste one bite of cheesecake. Oh, he doesn't like cheesecake. Okay, well, never mind. Thank you so much for your time. He is obviously not the dream man that the internet thinks he is if he doesn't like cheesecake. Did you hear this? He just goes better than expected. I love it. Yeah, you should definitely try a bite. You're eating the entire thing. Well, you told me I could have a piece of cake. Dude, what are they looking for? Well, I'm actually, I looked very closely to when mom and dad sliced into the cheesecake. Julia's cheesecake looked like it sliced so nicely. Like it was just pure, nice level of airiness. Tess is a little bit less airy, but it's super creamy. And I love the color on Tess's crust. Absolutely gorgeous golden color. I can't pick a winner though. Oh, oh no, uh, we did not cook for many hours for you to not pick a winner, ma'am. Pick a loser. Honestly, I really wanted one of you to fail so bad. Like, <laughs> drop water into the cheesecake, crack your pie dish, have it slide out of the refrigerator when you were taking it out. None of you failed. Mm. I, so I feel like I was the one who got played today. Honestly. And in the end, it was June all along. Chelsea, however, is like 
exceedingly surprising at how much she did not have on hand and how well she came out of the bake with. That is a glorious piece of cheesecake. My heart goes, I think, to Julia's cheesecake, but I would want to eat it with Tessa's apple topping because that apple topping has butter in it. Yeah, that's fair. I understand. Jesus, Tess. <laughs> <laughs> I have disappointed my mother once again. <laughs> She's now feeding the dogs right next to the cheesecake. Yeah, so I honestly think nobody lost today, but Julia, you definitely won in my heart. We did it, guys. This was a day. We really did it. Yeah. I'm on my second glass of wine. Everyone who's gonna watch this is gonna be like, congrats, you made a cheesecake. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine.